All right, we got our little Denso here, and this one is, there's your part number. You could go to the Denso website and look it up. And there is the control valve right there. This is what usually goes out on the majority of vehicles now. It's a cheap little part. You see that snap ring right there? You just remove, remove your clip. Okay, where the hell? Yeah, come on. My talk is good, but I can't do it. Ah, I'm getting old fingers. Okay, remove your clip. You see that little C-clip in there? Remove your C-clip. Of course, it's already discharged when you do this. Otherwise, you're gonna get blasted in the face with refrigerant oil and refrigerant and possibly go blind. So you wouldn't do this with the full system. Remove that C-clip. You pull this out. It usually comes out really light or with slight twisting as you come out. You get the new one, open the box, put the new one in, put the snap ring back in. Make sure you seat it in in the groove, otherwise it'll pop out. I got a video on that, somebody did that. Reinstall your clip, snap. There, you just save the customer $1,200, $800, $400, whatever the compressor serve. Instead of screwing over and ripping off the customer, selling them compressors they don't need, this is usually the item when you go out and I have videos on testing it with the tester. You could use your scan tool if you have the right scan tool. You can drive this. You can measure, this is only a duty cycle uh, voltage measurement out here. So you can test it with a oscilloscope or a duty cycle count reader. And you can drive the valve and you can read it on your pressure gauges or your transducers in the car to tell whether the compressor, real simple. That is an electric compressor control valve. That's the generic name for it. Now here we come over to a mechanical pump. This is a mechanical pump. What do you see up there? Got that nice big old thing. This is a mechanical adjustable compressor. Uh, all the way back in 1985, General Motors Cadillac had the V5. It was the first mechanical operated variable displacement compressor. Nowadays, we went over to electric, and unfortunately, they fail a lot. Um, I think we have a mechanical on, what is that, Ford Escape, Excursion, Escape. There's a, a Ford newer hybrid vehicle that still has a mechanical valve in it that you could take out and change, and it's still old-fashioned mechanical style, not electronic. Uh, very easy to change on the Ford. You go from underneath, and it sticks out this way, and you take out the C-clip, and you just pull it, pull it out, and you put in a new one, and you're good to go. That's all. You're going to see this. Now, guys, you guys should be seeing these all just flooding into your shops. They're failing left and right, but it's only this little solenoid valve. Unless somebody contaminated the system with moisture, air, and bad refrigerant and improperly charged it and used the wrong oil, then the compressors will go. But if nobody messed it up, it's usually just the valve. It's usually the technicians who service the vehicle cause the compressors to go out unless some other exterior force caused them to go out. All right, see you guys.